Hello guys. I think you have understood whatever we have discussed in the previous videos about the chemical reaction, chemical equation, balanced chemical equation. Now in this we will discuss about how can we balance a chemical reaction. So we use whatever the method that is known as the hit and trial method and in this we try to balance the atoms of each element on both the sides. First we will count them and then we will try to equalize them. We are taking this one example like Fe plus H2O react and form Fe3O4 and H2. So we will perform this in step wise. First step is first draw the boxes around the each formula. Now what is the purpose to draw these boxes that we will not change anything inside the box. When we write the formula in the boxes that is this formula we have written already and we will not write anything in the box that's why formula will not change. Now in the second step list the number of atoms of different elements. Now in all full reaction three elements are involved that is iron, hydrogen and oxygen. Now see their number of atoms on both the sides. First we will see on the reactant side iron is one atom hydrogen is 2 that is this this is hydrogen is 2 and oxygen is 1 this is 1 now in the product side iron is 3 this one is 3 hydrogen is 2 this hydrogen 2 and oxygen 4 these are the four atoms so we arrange these now the next step generally we balance the compound that contains the maximum number of atoms. It is not a rule, but generally we balance that compound which contains the maximum number of atoms. And in that compound, we will balance the element which has the maximum number of atoms. So first we will see in this case that oxygen we will balance in Fe3O4. Now see in Fe3O4, there are 4 atom of oxygen. This is 4 atom. To balance the 4, we have written 4 here. Not in this box. We write outside the box. In this way, we have balanced the oxygen. Now balance the hydrogen. So as soon as we put the 4, now hydrogen becomes, this is 4 multiplied by 2, 8. It's why to make the hydrogen 8 on the product side, we have written this 4 here. So this is 4 multiplied by 2, we got the 8. Now finally we balance the iron. Now we can see in this case this is iron Fe3. Three. three times or three atoms of iron are present in the product side and to make three atoms in the reactant side we have written this three here. Then again we remove the boxes then we will this gate 3 Fe plus 4 H2O it gives Fe3O4 and 4 H2. Again remember you think we will not write anything in the box and after balancing we will remove the box. Now we will discuss the some examples. First, I am giving the sold examples. That is, hydrogen gas combines with nitrogen to form ammonia. So this we can balance. That is, first write the chemical skeletal chemical equation. This is hydrogen, and when this react with the nitrogen, then this will form ammonia. This is NH3. So first we will balance the NH3 and in this case NH3 hydrogen atoms are 3 and in the reactant side hydrogen is, atom is 2. Now this is 2 and this is 3. So which is the LCM of this is 2 and 3 that is 6. So to make the hydrogen atom 6 this is multiplied by 2 and this is multiplied by 3. Now nitrogen is reactant side and two, two nitrogen atoms are there and this side nitrogen is again 2. So this is our balanced equation 3H2 plus N2 gives 2NH3. Now next hydrogen sulfide gas. Hydrogen sulfide gas and its hydrogen sulfide is this is H2S and burns in air. It means in the air for the burning which gas is required it is oxygen and this will give water and formula of water is this is H2O and formula of sulfur dioxide is SO2. Now we will try to balance first oxygen. 
that the no certain rule which element we have to balance just hit and trial method so if we say that the product side in the product side if we see hydrogen atom is 2 this is h n 2 in the sorry in the reactant side hydrogen atom 2 and the product side hydrogen atom 2 in the reactant side sulfur atom is 1 and in the product side sulfur atom is also 1 now which one is remaining to balance that is oxygen so this side is 2 oxygen atoms and this is 1 and 2 3 now question arises how will you balance it a little difficult now we'll make some change for the purpose of balancing and when such type of reactions are there if not we are not confirmed that how to balance the elements then if any atom present any element or any molecule present in the ele elemental form convert this into the atomic form so i have written this i have removed this two now see this hydrogen atom is two sorry oxygen atom on the product side two there and this is one there so we can say this one is there three oxygen atoms are of the product side and one oxygen atom in the reactant side to make equal put this three here is that clear now this is balanced but actually this oxygen should be in the molecular form that's why this should be o2 this should be o2 to make this o2 put two here and all the remaining reactants and products are multiplied by two that's why this is two this is two and this is two in this way we get the balanced chemical equation 2h2s plus 3o2 gives 2h2o plus 2so2 now see one more example this is zinc as we know the symbol for zinc is zn and plus silver nitrate then again how we write the formula of silver nitrate in the ninth class we have discussed that is silver symbol is ag and nitrate its formula is no3 and the valency of silver is 1 and nitrate is also 1 that's why its formula is AgNO3 then if you write the formula of zinc nitrate the valency of zinc is 2 and valency of nitrate is 1 that's why the formula of zinc nitrate becomes ZnNO3 twice and plus this is Ag now again in this case this NO3 is considered as a polyatomic ion now what the meaning of this poly polyatomic ion we have discussed in the class 9th the group of atoms carrying charge so we will try to balance this polyatomic ion at once that is whatever the atoms present in the polyatomic ion we have to balance at a time so in case of NO3 this is NO3 one group is there in the reactant side in the product side this is NO3 comes two times that's why we will make 2 here 2 AgNO3 clear as soon as we put 2 here silver becomes 2 in the reactant side to make the silver on the product side 2 right 2 here and zinc is already balanced so we will this get the balance equation zinc AgNO3 ZnO3 twice and Ag now next one is this is aluminium so this one is Al this is copper chloride now what the formula of copper chloride that is cu valence is 2 and this is cl2 in the ninth class we have discussed the copper has the two valency plus 1 and plus 2 which we have to use if not mentioned then we will take the copper plus 2 that's why copper chloride is cu cl2 and product are aluminium chloride and then formula valency of aluminium is 3 and valency of chloride is 1 that's why formula becomes al cl3 and this is copper now if we see the step wise then first of all that is put these in the boxes now it means in the boxes we will not change anything and then this is aluminium chloride and like this is copper now again balance this side is chlorine two times this is two this side chlorine is three times then two and three lcm is six to make the six chlorine in the reactant side put three here and to make the chlorine on the product side six put two here now in this way this aluminium becomes two so this is two aluminium in this side this is copper is three to so put copper three and then we remove these boxes we'll get two al the 3 cucl2 2 alcl3 
and this is 3 cu is it clear now see some questions i am giving to you and i am giving the hint how we will balance it so barium chloride reacts with the aluminum sulfate to give aluminum chloride and a precipitate of barium sulfate four substances are there barium chloride and aluminum sulfate is a reactant and aluminum chloride and barium sulfate is product first write the word equation then this convert word equation into skeletal chemical equation barium chloride is bacl2 valency of barium is 2 and chloride is 1 now this is aluminum sulfate this is al valency of aluminum is 3 and sulfate this is so4 valency of sulfate is 2 that's why this is al2 and this is so4 whole thrice in the ninth class we have discussed how to write the formula aluminum chloride this is again this is al this is cl3 valency of aluminum is 3 and barium sulfate the symbol for barium is ba and sulfate is so4 and as we know valency of barium is 2 and sulfate is 2 clear now try to balance now in this case the sulfate is a polyatomic ion try to balance this is so4 at a time do yourself in the same way potassium metal reacts with the water to give potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas this is zinc granules react with the dilute hydrochloric acid to produce zinc chloride and this is hydrogen gas and barium hydroxide react with the ammonium chloride to produce barium chloride and ammonium hydroxide i think you are able to write if you feel any difficulty i can give the hint like barium hydroxide what will what will the formula of barium hydroxide valence of barium is 2 and hydroxide is 1 try yourself what is the formula of barium hydroxide then ammonium chloride ammonium this nh4 one positive charge valence is 1 and chloride is valence 1 what is the formula of ammonium chloride then this is barium chloride and ammonium hydroxide i think this is very easy to you now watch it like it and subscribe it thank you